Welcome back, everyone, to the fantastic world of Emacs here. We're going to have a lot of fun today because I'm not even sure if I know what I'm going to be talking about here. But in overview, we're going to be talking about the concepts of point and cursor in Emacs. So you might be thinking, well, I've been learning Emacs. I've heard the, the cursor referred to as point, uh, but sometimes they use the word cursor. So what's the difference and what is the point? How is it? How does it all work? All right. So I did a little drawing here basically to see if I understand it. And I think I've got it. So here's what I figured out. So the the point and the cursor are kind of like two descriptions of the same thing, but conceptually they're a little different. So the point is basically the position of your cursor in an Emacs buffer. It's almost like the the geographic location, right? So you might think, well, you know, I'm in Florida, but you know, there's probably a very specific latitude and longitude or a various mathematical ways of representing my precise location on the globe. So that's kind of what point is. It's that mathematical location. It corresponds to a literal character point, you know? So you might have a word that begins on character two and ends on character seven. And the, the cursor, it's basically kind of just like an icon that represents the location of that point so you know where you are. So it's kind of like the graphical display element on your screen that's showing you where you are located and uh, so that you can keep working. And uh, just to, to be technical, the, the point, is basically between the two characters. So you see here um, in yellow, I've highlighted where your cursor would be. And, you know, it's going to usually be blinking in Emacs by default, but you can kind of control um, how it blinks or if it's a square or if you want just like a, a little horizontal line. Uh, it's customizable. But basically, by default, it would be sort of hovering or blinking over a character and your point would be right behind that character. So if I'm on the word point here and I type A, the word would become, you know, pound, P-A-O-I-N-T, instead of point. And of course, we can actually demonstrate that if we actually come into Emacs here, cover up Dennis Nedry here. And so you see, if I type point, you see I can put my cursor on the O, and then when I type A, that becomes Pound, pound, and that's basically how it works. When I do a backspace, it deletes the the character I just added. So, so yeah, so that's the basic thing. So, what is what does that mean? Uh, what is the point of all of this? Why does it matter? Well, because there's a lot of interesting things you can do in Emacs when you have this location of point. You have interesting functions that you could call. Um, there are functions that, for example save your position of point so that if you switch between different windows and buffers of course it remembers where you were or if you write a function that takes you off on a journey through other buffers and does other things and then brings you back uh, you can use those functions to put your point back exactly where it was so you don't lose your place folks in case you didn't know it's negative seo awareness month negative seo can happen when malicious actors spread rumors about you or your business across the internet, then that information gets picked up into search engines and you have to fight to correct it. One of the best ways to fight negative SEO is to have your own website, a single source of truth for everything about you and your business under your own control. All you need is a domain name and web hosting. I recommend checking out SiteGround for affordable hosting, business email, command line access, and everything else you might need to stake your claim to some internet real estate. If you use my link, I get a little special credit, and you get some good karma. Everyone wins. Get the website you need to protect yourself against online jokers. Now, back to the video. So a good way to illustrate this, I've got a few functions here that we can look at to actually use this, uh, this thing at point. We can do a function, for example, to get us the current word at point. So I'm just going to name this uh, get current word. So we're going to make it interactive. All right. So now don't need that auto completion. All right. So now when I run our little function, get current word, you see in the mini buffer, it pops up word because that was the word 
Uh, let's choose a different word. Let's go back to this. See, now it says this. So that's a way of getting, you know, what is at the what is at the point, and um, you know how Emacs knows that it has a, um, a syntax table. It has um, a, a special ways of designating what is a thing depending on where you are, what kind of buffer you're in, and that's a little bit outside the scope of the video. We won't get into that. But I have a uh, I have another function here for getting the sentence. So you can take the, that same function from above and you can just update it so that the thing at point is going to look for a sentence and then it's going to print that out. So we can put uh, remember to learn lamp stack. So now I can do get, oops, we got to evaluate. So get current sentence. You can see down here in the mini buffer sentence is that pretty cool. All right, and I have another little function here. This is from Zali's website, and it's a good example of some some other functions that use thing at point in an interesting way. I'll link down below to his interesting article on the topic. All right, so basically this one gets the the boundaries of the thing at point as well. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna go and grab the thing at point. We're going to get the start and ending characters, basically the, the position of that thing at point and then print out that information to us. So let's let's get that. Now let's write, you know, anything right here. So now when I do uh, my get boundary and thing, you can see thing begin at uh, 676 and end at 684. So those are the characters, the beginning character and the end character. And then the thing is anything, you know, which is a, which is a word basically. And of course you could update this function if you wanted it instead of just getting the, the, the symbol that is at point, you, we could put sentence there and it would get our sentence. And if it was not a sentence, it would just return nil. So you can, you can update this and, and you can do all kinds of fun things with it and get some information about uh, your, your position in a buffer and output it to various places. You never know why, you know, you might need that for something. And then of course that is the fun of Emacs. Well, there you go, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you have any comments or questions, of course, feel free to leave them below. And I'm going to drop the video right there and I'll see you all next time.